Hey guys, how do we keep it dirty off road? And today we're tuning our antenna for the VHF radio. Hey guys, now that we keep it dirty off road, and today we're going to do a very quick video about the importance of tuning your antenna and how to do it. In a previous video, we did a install video on how to get a radio, antenna, and all that stuff done on the Raptor. So to finish off that video, we're going to go over one of the most important parts, which is tuning your antenna. Now, anytime you get a VHF radio antenna, you have to tune it based on the frequencies you're going to be using. We ended up getting an M285S diamond antenna, really good antenna from the guys down at Ham Radio Outlet. No affiliation with them, just like the support we've gotten for them, so that's how we recommend them. With every antenna comes a little cutting chart based on the frequencies you're gonna be using. If you are off-roading your truck, you're mainly gonna be around Weatherman and Baja Pits and all that stuff. So you're gonna be in the 151 or 154 range. Most antennas will come with a chart like this and you need to figure out what frequency you need. So we know that we're gonna be in the 151 range to 154 range, so in this box. So if you look, according to this chart, we need to be around 43 inches, maybe a little bit more to be in that range, 150, 151 to 154. So we're going to cut our antenna at about 43 inches, okay? And that's how you figure it out. Some antenna companies are different, too. Here they tell you do end-to-end. -end. That means the length of the whip. So some antennas will have, like, the spring-loaded uh, type of holders. They may require a slightly different cutting procedure. We're going to go ahead and get it off and get it cut. Let's go cut. Full length of this antenna is about 47 inches. May it be at 43. Make sure. 43. Let's go get this back in. Ah. Damn it. Okay, make sure it goes all the way down. And make sure you tighten these up. It's very common that these actually come loose, especially with the vibrations of off-roading. So make sure these are nice and tight. It's probably not a bad idea to put some Loctite in there. There you go. So a lot of you guys may be wondering why you need to do this. And it really is to get better reception. If you're off-roading, which if you're watching this video, you're most likely doing this to do off-roading with your truck. You want to stay in that 151 to 154 range and tune your antenna for that. It'll give you the best reception. The only reason you wouldn't want to tune it is if you're going to use that full band. If you're going to use the full capabilities in the antenna, which on off-roading side, you're not going to do it. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. And we'll see you guys on the next one.